Lovely. Lovely. Cheers, bye. Adult trauma call, eight minutes. Adult trauma call, eight minutes. I've got an unconscious gentleman. He has severe traumatic brain injury. King's College Hospital, London. I think something hurt. One of the busiest A&E departments in the country. They'll be busy right now. Yeah, you know, 50 minutes, 30 yeah. minutes. King's is extreme, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> A place where love, life and death... <laughs> unfold every single day. Fall from a tree is probably absolutely trolled. I'm very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep thinking how am I going to cope? All the patients you're about to see were treated in one department <gasps> in just one 24-hour period. Camino. Everyone should walk through an emergency room at least once in their life because it makes you realise what your priorities are. It's not the rush, rush, rush and the money, money, money. It's the people you love and the fact that one minute they might be there and one minute they might be gone. We need to take some blood from you, OK? What's your name? Um... Obviously, people are very anxious and nervous and scared when they come into the, a department like ours and they don't know what's going on. And It's quite nice to sort of put them at ease, which I think that I do very well. So, sharp scratch. You can open your hand, don't move your arm. Thank you. When I see couples come into the department, it just makes it more real. The emotion is more real because you're dealing with two people and, you know, one person, the patient, is in, in agony, but also their partners are feeling their pain as well and get quite upset. Sometimes we see people on their own as well and sometimes that makes makes you feel a little sad. Claire? Uh, Hi, yeah. Uh, we'll check your blood pressure. OK. Just while you're waiting. All right. Hey, do you want to take this off? 22 year old Claire has come in alone after being knocked off her bike. So, what happened today? Uh, I was cycling along, and then a man on a scooter decided to crash into me. Mm -hmm. um, and I sort of went forward on my, I kind of went on my face, so hence the, the teeth. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you know, that, that, that's it really. It all kind of happened very, very, very quickly. Okay. okay. i get you something for the pain, okay? Thank you. Dr. Kenzie, please call 2410. Thank you. I remember being in the hospital and kind of seeing, seeing lots of. of of couples and sort of thinking about that and kind of how they must be worrying about e each other. When you're part of a couple, you're, it, it, there's, there's, it's simultaneously this really, really good thing, um, that, but it's also a huge gamble in that you, it could end very, very e e easily and suddenly. Got some paracetamol and some. Uh, the briefing help with the swelling as well and your, and your knee as well. Okay. You don't have to take them all in one go. You can do one. My boyfriend, he was killed in a cycling accident. It's, it's been ten months now. He was on his way to lectures. Um, he was a medical student. Um, and, yeah, um, he, 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 he died instantly at the scene. So no, I never, I never sort of, I never had to go through the sort of going to hospital. And I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure if, if you know how, how, how I feel about that. If I'd have, you know, if I'd have rather have had a chance to say goodbye or not. Um, 
but yeah. John and his wife Brenda have been together for 29 years. At Brenda's insistence, John recently had a private health screening. The results have sent him straight to King's. So just to reiterate, I just need to get the story right in my mind. Seen on Friday privately, did an ultrasound scan of your tummy. Now, take me back in time a bit. While were you having the ultrasound scan, what were they looking for? Routine health screen. Oh, routine health screen. Ah. My name's oh, Jackie Butler. I'm one of the know. other A&E doctors. Sorry, I'll just, I'm going to just have a quick look with our ultrasound machine as yeah, well. So I'm going to lie you down a bit flatter. Is that OK? Uh, yeah. People can actually come in and physiologically be quite unwell, but because there's still enough blood pressure to circulate to the brain and the skin and all those sorts of things, they don't necessarily appear sick. OK, now I'm going to try not to press too hard. John's health check revealed an aortic aneurysm, a dramatic swelling of the body's main artery. Oh, OK, so you're going to feel a big scratch in your arm. It's just going to pop a little bit in and take some blood. So, you know, someone can come in and go, oh, I've got a bit of belly pain. Their numbers can all be basically fine. And then they have this big balloon of a aorta, which at any moment could literally pop. And if it pops, then that can be the end of you. No, that health check was worth having. It was money well spent. Yeah, sure. How much did it cost you? I think it was about 140. Best 140 pounds you ever spent, I reckon. Well, yeah. I had had a funny feeling that there was something wrong. Didn't know what it was. Couldn't put my finger on it. it I mean, I, I had to persuade him, you know, John's very, oh, I'm all right. But I got him down there and, I mean, they said to him, you, you are just a walking time bomb. Did you want to sit up a little yeah, bit? Abdominal... He's got a triple A, he's got, a, he's got an aneurysm. And you were... Yeah, he's got an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Um, he's been picked up incidentally on Friday. They've just done a scan, just routine, and they found it. It's about eight centimetres in diameter. So, yeah, it's, it's big. Vascular registrar Ranjit has been brought in to assess how urgently John needs an operation. So, guys, if you can see, I'm just holding... This is, aorta normally runs down there. Mm. And I actually put my hands around it, so it's that big. And you, can you see my hands are just being pushed away from each other? Yeah. Kind of a pulse. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's his pulse. So, you see, it's literally it's that big. You can see it's 10 centimeters, I think. Yeah. Yours and mine, it would be about that, about two to three, two, two and a half, two centimetres, basically. Yeah. OK, so it's quite large. It needs urgent intervention. We're going to get the card just down, as I say. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go to the meeting where we're going to discuss you. Yeah. I'll come and we'll have a talk to you, OK? I'll deal with you. OK. Dad had some quite colossal accidents. He's competed with bikes all through our lives. But Dad being Dad, he's got up and walked away and come back and done it again. You better get going or you're all caught up in the traffic. I'm not going anywhere, shut up. Stop mm. worrying. We're here until we find out what's happening. Well, you know what's happening. No, we don't. I haven't had a meeting yet. <laughs> he likes talking bikes. He likes to be able to get his say in, which he does tend to sometimes get. I suppose, talked over. Yeah. We weren't making a fuss for nothing. No. Um, I mean, every time I dragged him up the doctors, I was it was to... like, oh, well, you know, You're we're checking on him, he's all right. I was over. Um... And there you were, threatening to load a bin in lawn the other night. Oh, it's oh. all right, the lawn takes me round, doesn't it? Yeah, just what cool. we need at the moment, isn't it? Cool. That could have caused that to, to go, because, I mean, you might have pushed enough pressure on it <laughs> when I did see see couples in the, in the hospital, I was kind of aware that that it must be this really intense period of their lives. 
when I was a child, I used to find it quite fun going to hospital. And now it's a bit of a scary experience. Having my own accident uh, really kind of put things in perspective. I don't cycle anymore because I'm sort of lost too much to cycling. Um, I, I, I don't want to lose anymore. We do forget how vulnerable we are. So I guess, yeah, just, just to remember that, really, and also sort of think about how what you're, the risk you're taking are impacting on the people who love you. What kind of sandwich would you like? What kind of sandwich would you like? Tuna, chicken, ham, cheese? Cheese. Mm -hmm. Cheese with a salad. And we do meal deal for three forty nine with a drink and a crisp. Three forty nine with a drink and a crisp. We do meal deal. Yeah. It's a hospital kind of thing. Means everybody plays their parts to make sick people to get better. So would you like a drink and a crisp with it? Yeah, what's your Okay. Something non-fizzy? Not sweet. Not sweet. Sugar-free. I wish I could be a doctor, but um, I'm, I'm still thanking God. I'm in a good health, with a good family, and a, playing the part as a doctor plays to getting people better. Thank you very much. 151. is the most incredible thing. It's the cure all. Oh, I know, you use it for cleaning and everything. Oh, I told Rowan and the leader that, they wouldn't believe me. I said, use it on your surfaces, you won't believe how shiny mm. they'll come up. Oh, it's been notorious for that for years. Oh, no, it's on, you know, it's oil. I said, no, it's actually disinfectant. I said, it's terrific. It's the only thing I know that gets my black surfaces shiny and <laughs> not smearing. Two-year-old Frida has come to hospital on the advice of her GP. Hello. Come through. Thank you. Thank you, nurse. Thank you. Okay. So I'm Nancy. I'm one Nancy. of the nurse practitioners. Yeah. What's the problem? This is the ear of mine. The ears seem to be blocked out. Feels like they're blocked. All yeah, right. there's something in that ear that I don't know what it is. Okay, I need to have a look. I'll just go and get the right equipment. All okay, right. Okay, dear. No, 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 Nance, can you tap? Can I tap? No, I'm not going to tap. Emma's, Emma's thinking of doing some tap dancing. Oh. There's a place on Tuesdays. Oh. Listen, I'm a bit heavy footed. <laughs> I need a man to dance with. Tap, you dance on your own a bit. Own. Yeah, well, that's no now, fun. Jill's done it. Jill's done tap dancing. She did a little exhibition at her. I want to be in hold. Yeah. Like they do on. I love it, like their hands. Oh, How do they do their hands? Dancing. I know. Well, they're, and they're all like. Yeah. <laughs> and their heads swaying yeah. and they're this Beautiful. way. Oh, I love mean. it. Yeah. Alan, do you fancy some ballroom dancing? Sore, isn't it? Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Oh, oh that's sore. Yeah. Oh dear. You do have an infection in that ear. All right. So I'm going to give you some different antibiotics and some ear drops to put in your ear as well, and hopefully that will settle it down for you. Okay. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Call the call the blood lady, me. If you need anything, I will. I will. I'll try not to. All right. I wouldn't do my job if it didn't. If I didn't feel it was important 
you know, I need, I want to feel wanted and important. Andrew, I just need to put another cannula in your arm, just so we can give you some more medication, OK? My career is... I'm giving up my life, really. Well, I'm not giving up my life, but I'm dedicating my life to other people. You just keep your arm still there for me. And that gives me a reason, or a good reason, to get up and get out of bed and get to work, because I know that someone needs me, Someone's, someone w will need me, potentially, today, tomorrow. And that's a great <laughs> motivator. <laughs> Yeah. I feel absolutely exhausted. How many doctors are they? are not doing nothing now. You want some service? Just come and assess me, please. And give me that to X-ray real quick, quick. Not. Please. Patrick has been waiting to see a doctor in minors for 20 minutes. I mean, babe, I ain't looking stay in here all day. People's expectations are that, you know, obviously, they are the most important person. They can't think about anyone else. So, you know, they just want to be seen and sorted as quickly as possible. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, no problem, baby. Excuse me. Yeah. Can you get someone right. to examine him, please? All right, then, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then, I'll ring you back, all right, yeah. darling? Yeah, yeah, all right, then, baby. Yeah, all right, exactly take care. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, hey. OK, you can look after me now, yeah? Could I Hello. ask I'll ring you back, yeah? person to stay, please? Otherwise... I'll right. ring you back, bro. I'll ring you back. Good. What are you I don't know, really. I just stepped up a step. You know what I mean? I must have lost my foot in it somehow. So it was twisted, basically. You I think nothing twisted fell it. on it. You no, didn't stumble no, and fell I on it. No, I fallen over on it. Oi! You do it. Ah, you see? As soon as you come outside, real air, man. That fucking recirculated shit going around in there. That's why all the fucking old people catch your old super bug. Yo, MRS, M, 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 R, S, A, R, S, I, whatever. Let me talk to one of our orthopedic okay. uh, surgeons what they think, OK? Thank you. Can they come back in now? Hmm? They can come back in now, innit? Yeah, I reckon so. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> just sit that so you can examine me, that's it, you know what I mean? Where are they? Mm -hmm. I feel my thumb up. Ninety-two-year-old widow Eileen lives alone. She's been brought to hospital after falling and spending the night on the floor. Now, Eileen, just as I'm talking to you, different bits and things are going to be happening to you, all right? But just for now, I want to find out what's going on and what's troubling you. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah OK, that's fine. Right, so... How old are you, Eileen? Ninety-two. What were you doing when you fell last night? Do you, in bed. <laughs> you were sitting in bed? Yeah. What time was it? After the um, football. About half past ten. OK, and did you get up to use the commode? No. Why did you fall out of bed then? I did you roll know. over? <laughs> you don't know? No, I don't know. And how do you get out and about? Do you walk with a stick or...? No, I don't walk with a stick. OK. Who does your washing...? I'll take Cooking, that, cleaning. I take the washing down to the cleaners. They do it well while I'm having my hair done. And you get your hair done once a week, then? Yes. Oh, well done. 
You're a shining example. <laughs> Do you drink alcohol? Yeah. Lots? Well, it's a lot. How, how much do you drink normally? I had a brandy and Yes. Milk. A brandy? And milk. And milk? Yes. That's Once fine. an evening or...? One in the morning and one in the evening. <laughs> Seeing as you have got to the grand age of 92, I think if you want a little tipple, we will let you have one. Yeah? OK. Do you get lonely? Yeah. I never see any of my husband's uh, family or relations. How long uh, is, is he dead now? Five years. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. And he had Al Alzheimer's. Horrible looking, how, looking after somebody like that. I said, because I never knew where he'd be. I always used to find him down the bottom of our road, and he's always down there. Do you miss him? Yeah. How long were you married for? Yeah, another day, yeah. Oh, something, yeah. Oh, a long time. Yeah. Now, listen, if I could wave a magic wand, I'd make you being 20 and running round again, but I can't wave a magic no. wand, all right? But I have got a big hospital here. If there's something we could do to make you happy or happier, would there be anything specific that you would ask for? Another man, not my husband. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, well, listen, what I will try and do is take your pain away. Oh, I suspect, Eileen, having been on the floor all night, you are going to have to come and stay with us for a bit. All right. Oh, right, let's see what we've got to do with you. No. Whoops, a daisy. Um, well, no, let's let's actually just examine her properly first, shall we? Uh, um, I think hands on and. All right, are there basal cracks? I'll tell the surgeons, as far as I'm concerned, it's all right. should go ahead with it. Now, obviously. The fact that you have got some heart disease will necessarily mean that the operation on the artery and tummy is higher risk. But leaving it is obviously even much higher. Mm -hmm. yeah, and right. the reason they're asking me to come and see is, is there any way we can optimise the heart? I don't think there is. No. That's what I'll tell them. I put on it. Thank you. Thank you. Not much positive, anyway. No, they're all positive. And probably for 77 years old. I'll be honest, to find out something serious is wrong with somebody, having been through it once with my sister and to go through it again with my dad, I was trying to think about anything else. I was thinking about dad when he was racing, about dad mowing the grass, and I was just trying to keep it so that it was normality. No, you're bleeping again. Um, oh, yeah, according to that, you've got apnea now. What have I got? Apnea, you're dead. Mm. I'm going to have to go and move my car. You know what? I shall have to move my car in a minute. What's that? You know? No, I'm here, I'm living. Yeah, I know you're here, I can see that. I'll still be alive at 7 or 8 o'clock. He's what, Dad? By what? I'll still be alive at 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. He says these things almost to tempt fate Just don't to worry. prove him wrong. Where are you going now? Make Better pull your kilt down a little bit. It's a stage where I am. Um, so I'm like being at home really with bare legs and it. I know that pain there, man. I know that pain. I know that pain. I've, I've never had a knee injury before. I've encountered that before. I have never had yeah. a knee injury, so it's all new to me, mate. Yeah, man. I'll tell you what, it's when when, uh, when it rains. Oh, yeah, the coldness. Yeah, when it rains. Oh, the coldness. The change in the atmospheric pressure. There you go. Boom, so that's when I feel it, knees. yeah. And so I know, yeah. I know I've got arthritis to look forward to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got it already. Do you know what I mean? 
I got elbows, you my twin arm, right? That's a new them thing there, but. Still with it, innit? I'm gonna have it with the knee now. That's what it is. <laughs> you know? And, 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 and like I, the, the, the people, them, I chat the foolishness. It's mm. like I'm gonna have to go and volunteer down the local old people's home Vanity to cup. make sure I can get my spot yeah, when yeah. time comes. You have to book early then, <laughs> yeah? yeah? <laughs> yeah, now. you have to book early. Book in now, yeah, you have to yeah. do a couple years volunteering and then you get your spot, innit? Mm. That's what mm. I say. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, at all. I hadn't woken up properly yeah. and I fell onto my um, and okay. I really damaged my wrist. Okay, let's see. I mean, I had just got on the court. We were knocking up and it was okay. in the first thing and I, and I just fell over backwards. Okay. It's the men. It's always the men. They're all big boys. They've never grown up. Do all the stupid things. All the dangerous sports. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> They're the ones that aren't dealing with the pain quite so well. <sighs> it's usually little old men and ladies that are really stoic and you, they come in with a broken wrist that they've, they've fallen over a week ago and you say to them, you know, why didn't you come in sooner? And they're, oh, I thought it would get better, you know, I could thought I could deal with it and... But they don't. Do you want some paracetamol? He's just had Nurofen this morning. Do you want something else? I got some. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine. You're okay actually. with that? Yeah, okay. It's quite painful, but don't you worry. Paracetamol I... to take the edge off? Uh, no, it's. No. Okay, all right. But I, I've, I've got some ibuprofen in my pocket. Just I haven't taken it. Um, it's okay. You don't want them? Let's go through all this variety and then, then I'll take one. <laughs> all right. Let's <laughs> finish. That's right. Just okay it. Okay. And then it's ED. Babe, I'm fucking broken, babe. It's broken? I'm broken. I feel really broken. Are you hot? Yeah. Eileen, what um, analgesia has the GP tried you with before? I've got some pain relief, but I haven't taken them. Right, ever? Never taken them before? One. One? Yes, what was it? Do you remember? No. Did it make you feel a bit funny, that one, or not? No. Mm. OK, one moment, sweetheart. Does she use pain Yes, she does. Uh, hello, X-ray. Sorry to trouble you. It's Liz phoning, the A&E consultant. Uh, hi, X-ray. I've got a 92-year-old lady who's fallen out of bed and been on the floor all night. Um, my suspicion is she's fractured her left hip, all right? But she's tender over the mid-thoracic area and a number of places along her Lots spine. of times there's nothing I can do. Um, we are meant to grow old. We are meant to get ill. And we are meant to die. I can fiddle about at the edges of that, but there's no sort of magical response in here, in this hospital, that can change that. Um, and so when people are older, I think it's, to, what matters most to me is doing what they want, what they want sorted. I don't really want her languishing in the corridor. I think having been on the floor all night is enough, if you see what I mean. Yes, if possible. Thank you. Bye. So, in two, it's still in there. She needs to be thrown out. Three, it's now empty. She's gone to recess. Four, it's gone to CDU. Dudley folks survived. Broken a bone. Uh, so what is that then? It's the wait a long time. You see, this is horrendous. This isn't what we got. Well, this is exactly what I just said to you. It was horrible when I came on. It's not nice at all. Last night was nice. This isn't nice. That's not even that bad out there, really. Um. Okay. All right. Who's gone out there to help him?
Darren and his girlfriend Alice are waiting to be seen. He's hurt his foot kicking a chair whilst playing a computer game. Sitting beside them is 82-year-old Joyce, who's suffering from a stomach complaint. Mind you throw yourself over me, you know. Pardon? I said, mind you throw yourself over me. Watch it. Right, do you want to come round? Is her name? C-A-W-N-E-W-Y. He was the one that was meant to have had... Not looking very well now. Oh, God. I don't know. Oh, do you want Yeah. Should we just take him to resus? Yeah, Let's just so. go. Oh, God. A minute, yeah. Sorry. Oh, dear. Hi, um, Charlotte. I'm going to bring someone in that's just gone flat with ambulance. I'm going to have to bring them in. So. I'm going to have to bring them in. I'll get a trolley, yeah, he's just suddenly taken a turn. Oh, uh, let me get a trolley. It's just, is it fast out After being brought in by paramedics, 79-year-old Eddie has suddenly lost consciousness. OK, he gets his stiff arm. Hello! Can you get a screen? Please. Hello, sir. Hello? Great. Right. Okay. Yeah, can we move the child down? Can we use five, please? I know. It is, it's all stressful. I've had something just literally almost crashed on me and I had to rush around to resource. It's just, what was Fiona saying about it being nice? It's absolutely living hell. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Okay, hello. hello. Are you all right? Good. Right, let's check his beer, man. <laughs> it's all right, sir. I oh, know, I can never find anything. Yeah, it's son-in-law is on the way to the house, but family can speak to the house. I don't know if he had a faint. I'm not sure. But either way, he didn't look too good. He did, did he? Surname. Uh... Yeah, but he is conscious now. He knows where he is, and uh, we're just going to check the blood gas now. Okay. It'd be nice just to make sure that what we're seeing on there that doesn't look like he has P waves, in fact, is. I mean, this is perfectly regular, actually. I'm glad you're awake. Had a funny turn on me. Lovely Charlotte looking after him now. It does make you afraid to get old sometimes. I do, I do fear getting old sometimes. I fear being vulnerable um, and not in control. <laughs> but Trolley's coming he, in. He, he's yeah. fine now. He's back, but the, the, yeah. I'll go and speak to his son. Yeah. Um, is his daughter here as well? I don't, I don't know. I didn't have a moment to blink. I'm sure. But to, a trolley will come to you first, oh. and then I'll get my one. Okay. I'm going to fucking eat it, man. <laughs> hey, can we go for a bit? My lazy No, what? A spell? Yeah. No. You buy it. Oh, we'll have a fag, but not a spiff, yeah. You can wait. Oh, I'm not sitting here three hours without nothing in me, I don't care. We'll go out for a fag, but we'll have one soon, yeah? Can we have one now? Please. Darren, you're just so wet outside the fucking hospital. Just please, for me, just leave it. We're going to have one, and when you do have it, it's going to be nice. Yeah? Yeah. Don't try and make me change my mind outside, because it's not happening. Hello, any majors? Uh, uh, Claire, it's Mario here. Oh, Mario, hi. Yeah, just, just give me a rundown. How is the major now? It's hideous as hell. It's horrible. Right. How many hours? Um, nine patients waiting to our wait. Well, just let, let me get on, Mario, and I'll come talk to you in a minute. Okay. Bye. Right. I'm just going to go into six to assess this. Yes, just please, that's great. There's yeah. a patient in there. No, the bed is coming back, and the patient is in the suture room. Right. And why have they been here three and a half hours and haven't had an assessment? Because it's busy, Claire. OK. That's why. <laughs> that old lady's rude, man. Did you hear her? Don't push up yourself on mute. 
That's what he said. He said, don't push up yourself on me. I was like, oh, shut up. Come on, gorgeous. Can you ask me to say that? Take a seat, I'll get you one of these. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> a, a bit of genuine sympathy, you just squeezed that out of me there, please. <sighs> I'm genuine bit of sympathy. Tell you the truth. You know what they're gonna say? They yeah, push me out when they're ready. They're, they're, yeah, yeah. You get to one and mm. two tablet anti-inflammatory and an antibiotic. Yeah. And uh, we can't do nothing more. Uh, one you. crutch. If and you get crutch. two, you're well unlucky. Isn't it? <laughs> one Damn crutch and, and out the door, bro. Isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. King's College special. Patch <laughs> up, hitch up, two <laughs> tablet, one crutch and out the door later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I team, on the road again. <laughs> You're not lying at all. Ah, you know what I mean? It's like we're not like we in here, no I'm coming here, big stab wounds in my face and all sorts. The people, them stitch me up, itch me up, one tablet. I'm trying you out the door. Four o'clock <laughs> later, yeah. Peace. Shh. You know what I mean? You're just getting a bit wary now. No way. Yeah, for real. Ugh. I'm fucking shattered, man. Mm. Papa. Mm. Shit, overtiredness. Yeah, down. yeah, yeah. Straight up Just and down, man. You know Straight up man? and down, man. Papa. Okay, your body repairs itself better when you're sleeping anyway. Yep. Sure. Right, we're going now. All right, thank you. Do you know what ward we're going to? We're going to Cotton Ward. Cotton. Coffin? No. What? Coffin Ward. <laughs> Trust yeah. you. John is being taken to a ward where he'll await major heart surgery. Hello, it's Claire. You've got somebody, he's a guy with a beard and he's got uh, bandages on his hand or wounds to his hand. Can you not let him through to majors or minors? because he's a nightmare, and he was in this morning abusing everybody, shouting. He may have walked out of the department, but he may come back. He's got a beard, and he's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. he's Irish gentleman, shouts a lot, quite abusive. Cheers, darling, bye. I might do, I might surprise you and go for a nice wax. Mm. Meaning that they wax off your hairs? What, by a woman, yeah? No. It's only women that do it. Swear down the head, man. Swear down, man. Do you really think I'm going to sit there with my legs open and let a man wax me? Are you fucking silly, Dan? Bad enough fucking doing no, it for you. I'm not saying a man's doing it. Okay. You're not going home tonight, okay? Home. Because, uh, we need to observe you overnight, okay, to see how your heart is doing, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? I'm just going to speak to your, your son-in-law and explain to him what uh, we've done, okay? Mm. Right. Um, I've just spoken to the cardiologist. Right? As I told you, okay. I just don't like the, the way the heart is. We're thinking, we're looking at things like uh, a pacemaker. Okay? Right. okay. Yeah. Should the heart rate go go down dramatically tonight. Yeah. They will have to do that tonight. All right. Okay. All right. So you think obviously he has got a problem with his heart then? I uh, I don't think, I know. All right. He, he has a problem with his heart, yeah, definitely. All right, yeah. okay. All right. You might have to have a pacemaker fitted. 
But don't worry. Nothing for you to worry about. What what matters is that you, you get well again and you don't you've got to stop falling into the bath and things like that. Oh. How many times have you fallen into the bath then? More than once. Well, why didn't you ever tell us before? You never ever told us. Hey? You never mentioned that you can get out of the bath. Said it all, you said it all, dear. <laughs> said it all. Uh, just do a good job on your next. <laughs> all I was thinking is, please let this come right. Just let's, you know, let them save him. Because, you know, what else can you do? You, you can't, you're helpless, you can't do anything. But on the other hand, of course, you've got to. Stay strong for everybody else, haven't you? You, you can't give in. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. just told him, Anita. Yeah. Don't do this. You'll set me off. I'm just trying to be <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right, dear. It's probably better. I've okay. <laughs> been trying to get to oh. you and tell you all the things that I never say. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't you start. Someone's got a big stand. Don't get tough. You're not going to leave me. I know, all right now. How <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're not loud. No. You know I love you lots and lots. Yes, don't dear. You, dear. And I love you too. Yeah. Don't go and leave me because I can't no, no, manage no, without not. you. Oh, God. It just can't be like this, because uh, people, people is people, you know, I know, and live for so long. Mm. This is the best place for you at the moment, for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Find out what's wrong. You can't keep falling over, Eddie. You're gonna, one day you're going to fall over, and, you know. All right, then. Yeah. Take care. I'll see, I'll see you later, all right? Yeah. All right. All right, take care, then. See you, then. Everyone should walk through an emergency room at least once in their life because it makes you realise what your priorities are. It's not the rush, rush, rush and the money, money, money and the materials and the things. It's the people you love and have around you and the fact that one minute they might be there and one minute they might be gone. And it doesn't matter how many times you crawl at the ground trying to get someone back, they, they don't come back. It's so final and it's so shocking, so it makes you appreciate the very simple things of life a lot better. I've scrubbed every commode, filled up everything. Oh my god, how many sickies have you had today? Oh, that little one, she's a little madam, she was. Now, which cubicles don't have blood pressure loose? Oh my god. Uh, I'm uh, gonna write it down because I want them to sort it out today. Yeah, um, number 14 looks half and half. Annie Kings. Two 
Any idea what he was stabbed with? The policeman said a samurai sword was seen. At the weekends, it's time to forget about your stress and enjoy yourself. Unfortunately, I think people enjoy themselves a bit too much sometimes. Just keep breathing. Come on. Come on. Sit down. Sit down now. Why have they put us in here on advice? There's so many things to play with. <laughs>